feels good, feels that we are really together. And uh, it's a good start for a retreat. Uh, the word retreat uh, sounds like a, a retreating army. Sounds, the word retreat sounds sometimes like a retreating army or something like that, very negative. Uh, but but uh, the real meaning of uh, the word retreat in our context is, uh, is that um, we step back. When one steps back, uh, one gets a better vision. And so what we want to do today is get a bigger view, step back and get a, a view of our life and of our spiritual practice. Uh, when you step back, uh, you get a wider picture. More people are included, more things, more people are included. Uh, so a day of quiet, as we are having today, uh, is not a, a time in which we forget about uh, all others and forget about the needs of the world and forget about uh, the important things. On the contrary, uh, by stepping back, you see the bigger picture and you cannot help seeing it. But we make no effort. We make no effort to seek out issues and talk about issues. You just step back. It reminds me of uh, a little story in the, uh, in the book, The Magic Monastery, which you might have come across, uh, by Father Theophane. Uh, and uh, he speaks about a hermit who had a cave, and, and it was a very deep cave. And sometimes he went just uh, into the middle parts of the cave, and sometimes he met, went all the way to the deepest parts of the cave and stayed there for a long time. And people asked him, what do you find when you go to that very end of your cave, in the very depth of your cave? And uh, they expected that uh, he would be quite alone there, and. and that's why you go into a cave as a hermit, to have solitude. And the answer, what do you find there when you go to the very depth of your cave, was all the tears of the world. You know? All the tears of the world. Uh, and so when we are together here in silence and uh, stillness for a day, uh, it's not... Uh, irresponsible, and, uh, but uh, on the contrary, we will communicate with all the great um, issues of the world. We will communicate with all, with all people without making an effort, without explicitly analyzing and talking about the issues. We leave that behind and uh, we will come to that point where uh, the solutions lie uh, in our aliveness. Uh, and that is what spiritual practice is all about. Spirituality is aliveness. Spirit means life breath. Uh, the measure of your spirituality is how much you are alive and on how many levels you are alive. Body, mind, soul, spirit, every level comes alive. And spiritual practice is a methodical way of going about coming alive. Um, practice is always a, a method, a spiritual way.